Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm here with my last Bible stories for today, June the 16th, 2024. Happy birthday to my dad and happy Father's Day to the real ones, okay, including my dad. So let's begin. This is titled, The Lion's Den Bible Story, okay. God saved Daniel from the lion's den. This is a powerful lesson for kids about trusting in the Lord's position. Summary. The prophet Daniel was living under a king who didn't respect God. When he made prayer against the law, it didn't stop Daniel from praying. The punishment was terrible. He was thrown into a cave of lions overnight. The Lord saved Daniel and protected him from harm all night long. The next day, everyone was amazed by the power of God. Just like Daniel, we can trust that Jesus will save those who follow him. No matter how bad the trouble, God has the power to save. Okay, now y'all know the motherfucker that just acted up while doing my summons. Y'all going to the lion's den tonight. You know that. They do it every night. So y'all do respect the most high. Okay, and the people that are still going through shit, you finna get your ass beat up by some fucking lions. Okay, some gorillas. We're going to put some of the gorillas, but you say the lions, though, okay? Yeah, know that. Scripture reference, Daniel 6. When doing work for someone, be hardworking, honest, and trustworthy. Memory verse, in all the work you are doing, work the best you can. Work as if you are working for the Lord, not for men. Colossians 3.23 Story overview. The Medo-Persian Empire conquered the Babylon Empire. Darius was the new ruler of Babylon. When he saw that Daniel had served Babylon well, he appointed him a government official for Medo Persia. Soon he considered putting Daniel in charge of the whole government. Two, other jealous officials plotted against Daniel and put Darius in a position where he was forced to have Daniel thrown to the lions. God saved Daniel from the lions and caused Darius to show respect towards the Lord. Background study. Although many visual aids depict Daniel as a young man when he was in the lion's den, he was actually an older man. Sixty-six years had passed since Daniel was a young man in King Nebuchadnezzar's court. When the, when the Medes and Persian conquered Babylon, the night of the handwriting on the wall, many things changed for the Jews. The new king was Cyrus. Cyrus' policy was to let some of the Jews return to Jerusalem. This fulfilled God's promise that the Jews would return to their land after 70 years of captivity. Many Jews returned to Jerusalem, but some, like Daniel, decided to stay in Babylon. Daniel was a well-respected elderly statesman. He had served Nebuchadnezzar and his descendants. Now he was given a place in the new medo persian government. Cyrus was king of the medo persian Empire. But Darius served under him as ruler of Babylon. Darius saw that Daniel was intelligent and well respected, so he gave him an official title and job as one of the three administrators over the 120 satraps that oversaw the country. His work impressed the king, and he was considering appointing him as head of the government. This made the other officials jealous. They searched for ways to ruin Daniel's reputation before the king. Daniel not only had a good reputation, he lived up to it. His enemies could not find anything to criticize him for, since they could not find fault. They focused on something else, Daniel's faith. Daniel had been faithful to the Lord his whole life. Losing the legal system to catch Daniel seemed logical. If they could make his faith illegal, he would surely be a lawbreaker and make the king angry. A group of missions raiders and satraps flattered King Darius by suggesting that everyone in Babylon must bring their requests to him alone. Neither man nor God was to be asked for anything for a month. The plotters probably had such a law written out and with a little persuasion, Darius signed it. Darius, Daniel, yeah, Daniel knew about the new law, but he kept on praying to God just as he had always done. His enemies easily caught him in the act. The plotter said to Daniel, had broken the new law. Oh, I meditate, but yeah. The king saw how he had been freed. He was about to lose his best helper because of his own foolish law. He spent the day looking for some way to invade the law and save Daniel, but there was no way. Under the law of Medes and Persians, once a law was made, it could not be repealed. Verse 15. 
The king finally ordered Daniel to be put into the lion's den. Knowing Daniel's devotion to God, Darius hoped that God could and would keep Daniel alive. The official seals were placed on the dean's instrument. It would be a crime to break the official royal seal, so no one would dare try to rescue Daniel. After a sleepless night, the king hurried during the early dawn to check on Daniel. Darius went to the lion's den and called down to Daniel. He shouted his question without waiting for the stone to be moved away. Had Daniel's God saved him, Daniel was alive. God had chosen his way to let the king know that he was alive and powerful and that Daniel belonged to him. Darius ordered everyone in the kingdom to honor Daniel's God. Verse is 26 through 27. And what I ask y'all to do too to my most high. Okay, raise the introduce the story. As younger children, what noises various animals make, then ask them what sound a lion makes. Once they have given you some good words, tell them that some lions sound like this. Mmm. Hold your lips together and cry the war. That's how the lions in today's story sounded. Let me they didn't believe. Okay. Ways to tell the story. Okay, review. Why did King Darius trust Daniel? Because Daniel was a hard worker and did his best. Daniel never cheated. What did Daniel do three times every day? Pray to God. What kind of law did the king's order? What did the law did the king's other helpers get King Darius to write? If anyone in the kingdom prayed to anyone other than the king for a month, then they would be thrown into a lion's den. How did King Darius feel about throwing Daniel in the lion's den? He was very upset. He did not want to throw Daniel in the lion's den. Why couldn't King Darius refuse to throw Daniel in the lion's den? In this kingdom, once a king made a law, even if he could not change it. Why did Daniel did not die in the lion's den? God sent an angel to shut the lion's mouth. What did King so a liar? Okay. What did King Darius tell everyone to do after Daniel survived the lion's den? He told everyone to respect Daniel's God. What did King Darius learn from this event? What did you learn about God from this story? We flee. What questions do you have for God about this story? What is something you wonder about in this story? If you were Daniel, will you have kept praying to God even though it was against the law and you'd be eaten by lions? How do you think Daniel felt when he was thrown into the lion's den? What do you think the lion's den smelled, looked, or felt like? How do you think the lions acted once the angel shut their mouths? God is pleased when we are like Daniel, honest, trustworthy, and hardworking. Whom do you know that is also like this? Are you honest, trustworthy, and hardworking? Which one of these do you need God's help with? Suggestion. Pray together about this. Song suggestions. Good old Daniel song. I'm in the Lord's army song. Book of the Old Testament song. Okay. The learning activities and crafts the kids did Wednesday. Look up facts about lions in Babylon or Palestine. Check a Bible commentary or encolopia. Have a warming contest to see who had the best lion war. Before the contest, work out a signal by which everyone stops warring when God shuts their mouths. Something like a peace sign. List some adults and children's jobs and responsibilities on the board. Teacher, shopkeeper, house cleaner, cleaning your room, or washing dishes. Now, divide the board into two columns. Title one column, just do the job, and the other, work with all your hearts, as to God. Let the children describe how each listed job can be done in these two ways. Play a game to memorize the verse. Write several choices on chords, like singing the verse in an opera, opera voice, whispering the verse, or asking the child to say the verse, etc. Repeat the verses a few times. Let the children draw the chords and follow the instructions. Click here for other ideas to help children memorize scripture. Let one of the children retell the story while the other children provide sound effects. Yes, I can sing opera. Okay, I did. I listened to it back in the day. Anyway, for them anyway, because they like opera. Crafts. Have children draw a simple lion's face on paper and then glue a mane. There are several ways to make the mane. 
glue cotton wool on it and then paint it brown. Cut long thin strips of brown paper and then curl the strips before gluing them onto the lion or loose fake fur. Okay, so that's the story of the lion's den story of Daniel. Okay, Old Testament angel.